Robert Moses, Lefty Grove, was born on March 6, 1900, and raised in the small coal town of Lonaconing, where the survival of the families required that boys leave school and go to work in the mines at age 14. In his biography by Jim Kaplan, Lefty was quoted as telling his father, after working only a few weeks in the coal mines, Dad, I didn't put that coal in there, and I hope I don't have to take any more of it out. This is the story of Lefty Grove's journey from the Western Maryland coal mines to the Baseball Hall of Fame at Cooperstown. Well, the Lone Dakota Little League started in 1953. In 1954, Lefty threw out the first pitch for the first game of the season. I was pitching for the Braves that year and I got to catch the ball and he autographed it later for me. Then again in 1955, the same situation. He threw out the first pitch and I was pitching that game and I got the autographed ball. So I wound up using the balls to play with. That's just the way it was back then. I grew up about 200 yards up the road from where Lefty's mom and dad lived. He always called me George. George was my dad's name. I was walking down the street and he come out and he said, hey George, do you know how to set pins? I said, no sir. He said, come on in, I'll teach you. So I got my first lesson in pin setting that night. Sometimes he would throw an extra ball down the alley while you were trying to set the pins. Poke you with a pole stick if you weren't paying attention to him. You know, all in all, he's just an all-around fun guy to be around. Lefty bought a new Buick every other year. He'd come into town with his new Buick and uh, everybody would look at it. And, and Lefty was elected to go to Japan on a goodwill tour. When Japan was first starting baseball, they wanted some of these named players from the United States to go over. So Lefty was elected to go. So he was telling everybody he's going to Japan to play ball and take a tour. And, there's one old guy and Lefty's friend too. He lives right a block away. He said, Lefty, you gonna take your new Buick to Japan? Lefty looked at him, he said, Marshall, you gotta go on a ship to go to Japan and Buicks don't swim. In my eyes, he was always a hero. The time that he was playing ball, they didn't get the kind of recognition that the ball players do now. And I think it's time that we not only Lefty, but some of the other older ball players. They need to be recognized, and, and this type of thing needs to be done for them also. My name's Tom Groves, and I'm a grandnephew of Lefty. I must have talked to at least 20, 25 people that he signed baseballs for, and I know he supported youth baseball in this area, and uh, he donated the very first American League uh, MVP trophy that was ever awarded by the Baseball Writers of Association of America to his hometown, which is still here in Lona Coning. The statue is going to be a great thing for Lona Coning and I think for just baseball fans in general because people want some place to go where they can see these things without having to travel all the way to Cooperstown. There's a lot of things like the MVP trophy and a lot of Lefty's memorabilia and stuff 
that only exist in Lona County. I hope the community and, and uh, supports this project. So we're gonna to have to do a lot of work and, and try to get this project get, become a reality. We grew up around him, knew him all our life, never realized who we were dealing with. He was a great man. Not everybody has a Lefty Grove. And a lot of people say, where is Lona Coning? You know, I said, well, that's where Lefty Grove was born and raised. Coney was his town. He'd come back every time that when the season was over, he was here. There was spring training started, he was here. So uh, his heart was in Coney and he was a pure Coney guy. Lefty was possibly the greatest pitcher in baseball history. And to have something like this in uh, a remote area like Lona Coning, it's just a good, really good thing for such a small town like this. I think it's about time we do something to honor this man. Ladies and gentlemen, we direct your attention to the commissioner's box where Lefty Grove, who in 1931, the last year the Athletics were in the World Series, won 31 games and lost only four, and who in 1969 was voted the left-handed pitcher on the all-time All-Star team will throw out the ceremonial first pitch. Play ball. Stay in his prime, Lefty Grove could throw harder than that. We've talked to some of the old timers who hit against him. They say he was just fantastic. He wound up winning 300 games and he wound up winning them with a curveball with the Boston Red Sox when he lost his fastball. But in his prime, especially during the years of 29, 30, and 31, when the A's had one of the greatest teams of all time, Lefty Grove was a premier pitcher in baseball. And he has the honor tonight of throwing out the first ball.